Hey everybody, Ray from 2A Left Productions. Um, brought to you by Chair, because Chair is my friend right now, because I can't stand up. Anyway, uh, let's talk about some iPro. Alright, iPro uh, in Nerf is um, well, has been required for most of the games that I play in, um, or have played in, don't currently play right now because I can't walk. Um, but anyway, uh, protecting your eyes is uh, a pretty good thing. Uh, and back in the day of original uh, uh, Nerf guns, like the, uh, uh, the Maverick or the Recon, you know, unmodified, um, iPro wasn't a top priority for everybody. It's become uh, definitely more and more important as the power level has increased. Um, so, yeah, protecting your eyes is a thing that you really should do at any Nerf game. So, uh, let's start off basic iPro. If you're like me and have the uh, crippling disease of not having uh, perfect 2020 eyesight, you have to wear glasses. Um, normally speaking, I would say glasses are adequate. I wouldn't say they are the best solution, but they do provide a modicum of um, protection to your eye. Um, not the greatest thing because there's like a huge gap where dark could come in uh, sideways uh, real easily, you know. Um, so it only really protects you from the front. So generally speaking, Nerf came out with their version of iPro, which is not bad. Kinda, sorta, ish, if you're the right, you know, head shape for this thing to actually fit on your head. These are actually a little bit too small and they're squeezing. Um, don't really like them. And they still actually have a decent gap down here. I can easily get several fingers in on there. So, I mean, granted, it's like a low angle, uh, so unlikely uh, a shot will hit you there, but, you know, weirder things have happened. So, what I recommend, no, but definitely better than not having anything at all or just wearing normal glasses. All right. Safety glasses. These are really good. Um, they protect. I can't get a finger anywhere in here. So this protects your eyes very well. Would I recommend these? Oh yeah. Um, unless of course, again, uh, you need to wear corrective lenses like I do because I'm crippled in that very peculiar way. Um, so anyway, if, if you have to wear glasses while playing, these are not the best options, but they do make prescription safety glasses. These are the most ridiculous pair of glasses I own, uh, but I can see and they do protect pretty well. I cannot get to my eyes except for right there. So one direction, it's, it's um, not as bad as the Nerf ones, but it's gonna protect in most cases. It does have the side shields, which are really cool. Um, awesome fashion statement. But yeah, these will protect your eyes. Will I recommend them? Yes, as long as you don't mind what you look like. Oh, and I also put Nerf darts on the uh, the earpieces here because these things like chew up the back of my ears. These things hurt like crap. So um, yeah, foam Nerf darts on them because we all know uh, fashion is a priority here. Now let's go on to uh, something a little more extreme. Not only will these protect you from Nerf darts, these will protect you from lasers. Um, I got this when I got my laser pointer 
Um, I have a, uh, a, a burning green laser and these will protect my eyes from that. Um, will they protect me from nerf darts? Yeah, and honestly, I can't even get... These are better than my other ones. Um, so yeah, all the protection and all the style. All right, if you've run games with me before, you'll know that nine times out of 10, I will run racquetball glasses. Um, the main reason is this, these are prescription and I can actually see. Plus they're slightly yellow tinted, so everything pops a little bit more. Makes it a little bit easier for me to um, see that person sneaking up over there. So yeah, these are good. Uh, again, I cannot get my fingers in uh, enough and I'm assuming my finger's about the same size as a dart, relatively-ish. Um, enough to say that if a dart were to come from this angle, it will not get in. Are these great? No. Um, but these do have the nice advantage of these have a little strap. And these will not fall off your face. Um, doesn't matter what real... Uh, parkour type of thing you're trying to do, these will pretty much stay where they're supposed to. Um, unlike most of the other examples I have here, uh, which could move and do have the um, slight advantage that maybe you won't be protected at all times because, you know, they may moved up or whatever or slid down your face. These don't do that because of the strap. Barring that, I got these pair of goggles. Uh, these are my shooting goggles. Uh, and I can actually wear my glasses underneath these. Um, so they, I can still have my uh, corrected vision, which is nice. Uh, these have no gap because they're pretty much pressed up against my face. And again, these have this nice strap. Where the heck is it? There it is. Uh, keeps them in place. They don't fall off. Uh, I will normally pass these out to somebody who doesn't have a pair of eye pro because they pretty much fit anybody. Uh, they're flexible enough that they'll form to just about anybody's face. Um, so these are good. Now, if you want to be the height of fashion, you got to get your World War II aviator goggles. Now, these are amazing. Uh, these form fit to your face. They actually have a, a chain linkage here that flexes, that uh, forms around to the curve of your face, which is awesome. And these things have a very wide field of view. I can see right about there, which is uh, really good compared to a lot of these other ones. I mean, um, the, the fact, uh, the, the only thing I would say that's bad about these is I cannot wear my glasses underneath them. Um, so if I'm wearing contacts, great, but these not so much, but uh, would I recommend these? Yeah, as long as you don't mind uh, being fashion conscious. All right. Bump caps. Do I think they're necessary for Nerf? No. But anyway, um, some people might, uh, some people who are a little bit sensitive to uh, any sort of uh, uh, physical contact, uh, they might want a bump cap. I don't know. I don't know why, but you know, hey, maybe. Um, some other people might want to wear a full faced uh, like paintball mask like this. Um, but do I recommend that? No, I think it's a little overkill, but you know, hey, if you really, really want that kind of full face protection, go ahead. Speaking of full face protection, when you absolutely do not want to get hit in the face, would I recommend a fencing mask? Yes. Uh, Field of vision is actually really good. Uh, and this uh, steel cage on my face uh, actually doesn't really impede my vision very much. And I think you can actually still see me uh, as long as the lighting is just right. Um, will I wear this to an event? Probably, but only because I'm a moron and I like being stupid. Another nice thing about this mask is I can wear my glasses underneath it. And, and uh, I still have uh, my corrective vision, which is good. All right, so what it really boils down to is wear what you feel comfortable wearing and what you think is enough protection for your games. Um, unless the game specifically calls out 
uh, glasses with side shields, uh, which I know you can buy separately and actually just attach them, um, which is a, a cheap option, um, or getting a pair of cheap uh, safety glasses, or getting a pair of goggles that you can wear over the top of your regular glasses. Uh, those are all options that are cheap, easy to get. These Nerf ones came with uh, a set of dark tag uh, blasters that I had, so I mean, Nerf is even throwing these out there. Nerf even has those uh, masks, uh, uh, the front face masks uh, from the, like I know the Rival series got it, um, and I think that might be it. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, I don't wear those, so I mean, that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, those will, those will work just fine, uh, especially since that's what Nerf says is a uh, viable option. But anyway, over here is a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. Why? I don't know. They just think you should watch it. And over here is a video that I'll add in post. I'm Ray with 2A Left Productions. I'll see y'all later.